Uh, good afternoon, dear students. Our today topic is meningeal syndrome and clinic of infectious disease and meningococcal infection. Meningitis is inflammation of meningeal brain and spinal cord. Acute meningitis plays a leading role in infectious pathology of central nervous system. Uh, classification of uh, meningitis uh, may be uh, by following criteria, by appearance, primary and secondary meningitis. Primary meningitis occur without any preceding infection or local inflammation as independent disease. And secondary meningitis would occur as a result uh, of complication of general or a local infectious process. Examples of uh, primary meningitis, there are a rich group of primary viral meningoencephalitis, tick-borne encephalitis, for example, um, example of uh, bac primary bacterial meningitis, meningococcal infection, one of clinical form of it, uh, may be realized in form of primary meningitis, meningoencephalitis. <clears throat> As example of secondary meningitis, there are meningitis what may be associated with sepsis, uh, TB meningitis as complication of primary process in lungs, uh, may be a meningitis in case of a uh, rich amount of diseases what associated with bacteremia such as typhoid fever and some other infections. Uh, next type of classification according to etiology, and we may describe bacterial meningitis, viral, fungal, spirochetosis, rickettsial, cell, protozoal, helmentic and combined form of meningitis. Uh, mostly in clinical picture, of course, suspected bacterial and viral meningitis. A less rare rickettsial cell meningitis in case of uh, severe immunosuppression. Fungal meningitis and mm, uh, rare mm, but not connect with immunosuppression, spirochetosis meningitis. As casuistic, uh, as very rare cases, maybe uh, um, maybe this uh, we may speak about helminthic meningitis and. <clears throat> In tropical countries, uh, may be suspected protozoal uh, origin of meningitis. Um, by type of inflammation and change in cerebrospinal fluid, of course, more famous uh, type of classification, what like students of every part of the world, serous and purulent. In case of serous meningitis, will prevalent lymphocytes. In case of purulent meningitis, will prevalent neutrophils. Um, by duration of uh, cause of disease, uh, we may speak about acute meningitis, more often from lingering form and chronic. Uh, by severity, mild, moderate, severe. A classical subdivision for three degree of severity. Encephalitis, polyetiological uh, disease of infectious, often viral or infectious allergic origin, characterized with inflammation of the brain or spinal cord, accompanied with cerebral and encephalitic syndrome, increased intracranial pressure and inflammatory change in cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, pathogenesis for different kind of uh, pathogenesis uh, for different kind of uh, meningitis, meningoencephalitis, uh, include first of all entrance gate for causative agent. Uh, there are due to rich amount of diseases what may provoke uh, meningitis, meningoencephalitis. There are very different. Uh, for meningococcal infection, first of all respiratory tract, nasopharynx. Uh, for some infections, it may uh, be intestine or through the skin, but in each case, after uh, and after um, primary multiplication in entrance gate, will be dissemination of pathogen, uh, what uh, uh, may be realized uh, through the blood hematogenic 
uh, hematogenic way of dissemination, may be lymphogenic way of uh, dissemination and may be contact way of dissemination. Uh, there are three pathogenetic factors play an important role in development of uh, disease. Uh, practic uh, practically each meningitis, meningoencephalitis, especially uh, these three factors play a significant role in case of meningococcal meningitis. First of all, bacteremia, second, toxemia, and third, microorganism initial immunity. Uh, due to the destruction of gram-negative uh, microorganisms, will be releasing of endotoxin, and due to it appear uh, realization of um, bacteremia and toxemia too. Uh, toxemia provoke uh, increased level of biological active substances and products of disturbed metabolism. A uh, result of it, uh, increased permeability of cellular and vascular membranes, um, blood, uh, blood brain barrier, um, result of uh, increasing permeability of brain capillaries will be active penetration of bacteria and toxins in central nervous system with development of pathological processes. And uh, second, um, and may be realization of brain edema. Uh, may be re <coughs> realization of brain edema. Irritation of vascular uh, due, uh, due to <coughs> uh, pre previous facts uh, will be realization of irritation of vascular plexus of brain uh, ventricles uh, with bacteria, antigens, toxin, and immune complexes. And due to the, this rotation, will increase cerebro, cerebrospinal fluid production and will rise intracranial pressure. Will rise intracranial pressure. Irritation of structure of the encephalic region, centers of tumor regulation, vomiting, vascular center cause the main clinical manifestation of disease, such as headache, repeated vomiting, and manager of symptoms. The complex of symptoms of acute meningitis consists of four main syndromes. First, general intoxication. Uh, uh, third, meningeal syndrome. Uh, second, uh, cerebral syndrome. Uh, and fourth, syndrome of inflammatory changes in cerebrospinal fluid. And general intoxication uh, includes signs include common signs what uh, very like to describe a student uh, here uh, will be acute onset with fever appearance of febrile fever paleness of skin chill weakness anorexia tachypnea dyspnea tachycardia uh, dullness of cardiac sounds uh, change of uh, heart rate unstable blood pressure Cerebral syndrome include headache, what will be strong, diffuse, sometimes uh, local, but mostly strong and diffused, increased with change of body position due to high intracranial pressure and irritation of pain receptors of pathogen, uh, uh, irritation of uh, pain receptors with pathogen. Uh, next uh, sign what include in cerebral syndrome vomiting, what has central mechanism due to direct irritation of vomiting center. Uh, vomiting will be repeated occur suddenly and without previous nausea. Uh, does not bring, uh, bring relief <coughs> and may uh, be increasing, uh, increasing of vomiting when uh, change uh, body position. Uh, possible disturbance of consciousness from agitation, from exaltation to, uh, to sopa and coma. Uh, it will um, it will associate it with development of toxic uh, damage or with development of brain edema. Uh, will be suspected uh, will be suspicion of seizures. 
uh, from twitching of some muscles to generalized convulsions and convulsive status. Uh, expansion of veins of head, uh, eyelids and eyes. Meningeal syndrome. Meningeal syndrome developed due to irritation of cerebral and baroreceptors by high liquid pressure or the, uh, due to irritation of these receptors with viral bacterial toxins. Several clinical signs include in uh, uh, this syndrome and all of them may be subdivided for four groups. First group of signs, uh, the group of tonic muscle tension. Uh, there are signs what like students of every nation, every part of the world when a student try to uh, describe meningeal syndrome. Uh, and standard answer usually include rigidity of occipital muscles, kerning sign, Brudzinski signs, uh, and after that, that's all. But I'm very sorry, uh, there are only first group of signs what associated with meningeal syndrome. Description of these classical signs of meningitis you may suspect on this slide. For example, rigidity of occipital muscles. Its passive flexion of patient neck is difficult or impossible. Uh, Kernick signs and Brudzinski signs you may suspect uh, here too. Uh, next, what include in this group of tonic uh, change uh, the position of patient. Uh, so named meningeal post, uh, meningeal position, uh, position of set to dock, uh, trigger pose. Uh, this <coughs> photo with this uh, position of the patient uh, will be a little after. Uh, you may suspect, you may suspect this uh, pose of patient of on the this. Uh, small photo, but after will be more big photo uh, of patient with meningitis. A second group of signs would include in, uh, meningeal syndrome sim uh, signs of general uh, hyperesthesia. Uh, there are photophobia, hyperacusia and other uh, signs of uh, hyperesthesia due to irritation of posterior root cells of spinal nodes, receptor of meninges, and a decreased level of sensitivity to various uh, to, to, to various actions. Third group: reactive pain phenomenon. Uh, the, uh, <coughs> there are bacterial sign, labzin sign, Kerr sign. Uh, Pulatov sign, Mendel sign, uh, and uh, practically that solve what include in reactive pain phenomenon. For example, Mendel sign pain when you press on the frontal wall of the external ear channel. Um, patient feel strong pain um, when you make percussion. Uh, of a scalp, a uh, patient may feel uh, may uh, may feel uh, strong pain. Labzin sign, patient feel pain when you press on uh, when you little press on the eyeballs. Um, so there are reactive pain phenomenon. Fourth group uh, group of sign changed uh, of uh, dermal uh, period uh, and tendon reflexes, appearance of pathological reflexes. Uh, there are uh, Babinski reflex, Appengame, Rosalima reflex. There are physiological reflexes for uh, children, um, for, for newborn children. Uh, but uh, there are pathological reflexes in adult. And last uh, group of signs would include 
what include in meningeal syndrome. Um, it's a signs of inflammatory change in cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, practically, uh, for differential the di uh, di antitheological diagnosis, very difficult to describe situation when you may to put diagnose without mistake, without previous analysis of cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, etiological diagnosis of uh, central nervous system infection is very important because. Uh, because uh, without etiology you can't to use a normal etiotropic therapy and of course without uh, adequate etiotropic therapy prognosis for the patient will be uh, not uh, very fine uh, fat uh, maybe fatal prognosis if you treat uh, if you think about viral meningitis um, and uh, treat uh, a patient with uh, antiviral remedies uh, but in patient uh, really on aut autopsy was revealed bacterial meningitis uh, so, due to it necessary to know about uh, typical uh, changes in cerebrospinal fluid and of course necessary to know normal indexes of cerebrospinal fluid too. Inflammation of meninges with, uh, is accompanied with a following uh, change in CBC. First, increase in pressure. Cerebrospinal fluid is flowing extremely or with frequent drops. Uh, change in transparency <coughs> or color. Pleocytosis uh, with uh, uh, domination of neutrophils or lymphocytes or uh, mixed. Increased level of proteins. Change of level of glucose and, chloride, um, and chlorides. Uh, what I propose to you when you try to analyze uh, situational tasks or you want to decide tests about cerebrospinal fluid, first, first of all, look on level of sugar. It's the uh, deciding of question about viral or non-viral etiology. In case of non-viral etiology, sugar level usually decreased. In case of viral etiology, sugar level will be stable. Uh, next, what necessary to check? Level of uh, proteins and chlorides. A level of proteins and chlorides give for you answer present inflammation or absent. And, <clears throat> and last position, analysis of cells what prevalent in cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, this order, uh, this order of uh, checking for uh, cerebrospinal liquid uh, analysis of uh, uh, cerebrospinal liquid um, will give for you less quantity of mistakes. So, uh, type A of uh, change uh, for cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, typical, uh, typical bacterial meningitis, uh, prevalence of neutrophils, counting of neutrophils, thousands of cells in a, a, a milliliter. Um, typical for bacterial meningitis. Sugar level decreased less than 50% of uh, blood concentration um, and um, uh, typical purulent process. I can't to say that uh, possible to add uh, here something. Type B, slight, uh, slightly tubed uh, um, uh, cerebrospinal liquid, uh, quantity of uh, cells, 100 cells, uh, not so significant rising uh, 
uh, of a common level of leukocytes. Mm. Uh, um, practically, uh, this type uh, 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 this uh, this type of change in cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, typical for granulomatosis meningitis, for TB, for mycotic meningitis. Uh, look, uh, in case of TB meningitis, uh, may prevalent mononuclear lymphocytic cells, uh, polymorphic cells uh, will be less, and it uh, may produce, uh, may stimulate appearance of mistakes. Uh, due to what we know uh, well that in case of bacterial meningitis uh, must prevalent neutrophils in this cerebrospinal fluid prevalent uh, mononuclear cells uh, and you may start think about uh, about uh, viral origin of this situation but no look on level of sugar sugar level less than 50% of blood glucose concentration, it does mean that sugar uh, was used uh, in time of, uh, in, in time of uh, life of some bacteria what come to the central nervous system. Uh, because sugar is necessary for surviving of bacteria. Due to it, for type A, for type B, sugar level will be decreased less than normal. Normal level of uh, glucose in cerebrospinal fluid is 50-60% of blood concentration. Type C of changes uh, typical for uh, serous meningitis, for viral meningitis mostly, uh, will prevalent um, lymphocytes, mononuclear cells, uh, protein level uh, uh, will increase, um, glucose level will be normal, glucose level will be normal. So again we return to, uh, uh, to strategy what I described before. First of all check not cells but level of protein level of protein give for you answer present inflammation or not glucose level answer for the uh, for the question is it possible viral etiology or not viral if uh, sugar level decreased on uh, next slides will be uh, the, uh, normal level of uh, different indexes in cerebrospinal fluid and uh, comparing of uh, with normal uh, normal level with a different uh, situations. First, um, first uh, pair what uh, described on this slide uh, meningism. Meningism it is situation when in patient suspected irritation of uh, manager, uh, but um, uh, but inflammation is absent. Uh, why it appear due to increasing of intracranial pressure. What may increase intracranial pressure? There are a lot of reasons. Uh, tumor, brain edema, trauma, intracranial bleeding, stroke, and other other reasons when we may suspect toxic damage, when we may suspect meningitis, meningitis-like syndrome. Signs of meningitis present, but changes in cerebrospinal fluid practically absent, uh, especially absent uh, inflammatory changes. And look, level of protein is uh, on, on practically normal. Level of sugar not changed. Level of uh, cells not changed. Uh, serous viral viral uh, meningitis. Uh, what? 
and uh, serous bacterial meningitis. Example of serous bacterial meningitis, there are TB meningitis, leptospirotic meningitis, and some other infections. Uh, so what interesting here? In case of uh, um, serous bacterial meningitis, uh, will decrease level of sugar first of all. Cells will be same, same level of cells. Pressure must be more for serous bacterial meningitis, but practically for serous viral may level of pressure increasing may be practically same. Ne objective uh, in uh, 30 40 percent um, uh, will, uh, uh, will be suspension of fibrin films uh, in a glass what contain a cerebrospinal fluid after taking of it. But what necessary to remember these fib uh, fibrin films not appear in one moment, it will appear after several hours after keeping in a uh, refrigerator. So it is, it will not, uh, fibrin uh, will, uh, with fibrin films uh, in, uh, for checking for it necessary to wait um, around 24 hours. So, first of all, again, level of sugar, level of protein, and after that, analysis of cells. Uh, purulent hemorrhage. For hemorrhage, of course, uh, will be differential diagnosis between purulent meningitis and uh, hemorrhage. Here, um, differences is uh, are very bright different color of course blood uh, color in case of hemorrhage uh, different uh, cells different cells because in case of uh, meningitis will prevalent uh, leukocytes in case of um, bleeding will prevalent red blood cells uh, level of protein <laughs> The level of uh, protein increased in both cases, but glucose level, of course, will be different in case of meningitis uh, due to uh, activity of bacteria. Uh, level of sugar in patient with meningitis will fall in cerebrospinal fluid. In case of hemorrhage, level of sugar, of course, will be normal. Uh, <clears throat> Um, prime, more often variant of, uh, variants of primary purulent meningitis are meningococcal, pneumococcal, hemophilus influenza. Uh, secondary purulent meningitis develop as complications for sepsis, diseases of internal, uh, of uh, in different internal organs, uh, ANT organs, for example, otitis, mastoiditis, sinusitis. Um, result of pulmonary infection, result of uh, generalization of infection in case of pyelonephritis in immunosuppressed people, and uh, more often produced with uh, staphylococci, streptococci, and other uh, variants of pathogens. Other variants of pathogens. Diagnostic criteria for primary purulent meningitis for meningococcal meningitis. Acute respiratory infection, anthroponosis with aerogenic mechanism of transmission, pathogenetically characterized by destruction of a respiratory epithelium, clinically intoxication, rhinopharyngitis, affection of central nervous se uh, system, and sepsis-like state. In analysis, winter, spring, uh, prior season, seasonality. Uh, now, for uh, is very difficult to say about prevalence, but usual, usually like more cold condition. 
more cold condition. Root of transmission, airborne, source of infection, uh, sick human, uh, any form of meningococcal disease uh, may, uh, may be dangerous. Uh, and uh, of course, in epidemiological significance, more dangerous carrier state, then patient don't know that he is maybe dangerous for other people. Uh, risk group uh, children uh, under one year, uh, very old people uh, and people with uh, different kinds of immunosuppression. Uh, every 8-10 years rise rate of this infection. Uh, duration of uh, this uh, of infectious period 3-4 weeks. Um, and patients are infectious uh, during prodromal stage and acute phase of disease. Uh, for today, mortality of meningitis, it's one of clinical form of for meningococcal infection, uh, is uh, around 3-5%. Mortality of meningococcemia, uh, it is one, uh, one of more dangerous form of this infection, up to 20%. Causative agent belong to Neisseria meningitis, characteristics of it you may suspect on these slides. A small gram negative diplococci, typical location inside the cells, as look as pair of coffee, uh, coffee beans. Uh, don't formate uh, spores, uh, non motile aerobic, uh, obligate intracellular microbe. Uh, very sensitive to action of antibiotic, uh, very sensitive to disinfectative solution, non-stable in environment. Uh, so very gentle microorganism. Uh, due to uh, eat, due to eat in group of risk, first of all, uh, children, uh, because uh, may uh, parents or other family members may be uh, in carrier state for this infection and who in our population have more soft contact. Of course, family members. Um, distance uh, for effective spreading of this kind of microorganism is less than half meter. Less than half meter. Now, who can uh, to us less than a half meter, usually family members, usually family members, and of course, uh, sometimes uh, other people. No? Here, slight uh, photo of these microorganisms under microscope, uh, coloration by gram, and this. Uh, deep blue practically um, my black microorganism there are diplococci inside the cells mostly here diplococci inside cells uh, may be suspected too Pathogenesis of meningococcal infections are subdivided for three stages. First stage penetration. The low, uh, as a, this stage may be described as local forms of disease. Uh, he, maybe suspicion of nasopharyngitis or pneumonia or carrier state. In some people, not at all. For most part of people, process may be finished for, uh, with local form, uh, but in people who, who have immunosuppression, it may be situational immunosuppression due to supercooling, due to stress, uh, due to other factors, will be realization of bacteremia, infiltration of causative agent in uh, blood, 
uh, the following uh, uh, lysis of bacteria and releasing of endotoxin and disease proceeds as acute sepsis with hemorrhagic rash and hemorrhagic syndrome. Um, in this situation, suspected meningococcemia, uh, but may be uh, a not so uh, acute form of disease, but may be distribution into the brain uh, with hematogenic way, lymphogenic way, perineurally, and uh, through at my dull bone. And due to it, in patient may realize meningitis. <laughs> Pathomorphology associated with acute inflammatory response in place of implantation of causative agent. Uh, result of releasing of endotoxin is diffuse vasculitis and realization of DAC, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy. Uh, classification of meningococcal infection. First of all, a localized form, a two localized form uh, belong carrier state, uh, without clinical manifestation, may, uh, may be revealed only uh, bacteriologically. Another second clinical form, nasopharyngitis, third meningococcal pneumonia. There are localized forms. Uh, two generalized forms belong meningococcal sepsis, meningitis, meningoencephalitis, mixed variant, meningococcemia plus meningitis, and unfrequent form of disease, disease such as arthritis, endocarditis, uh, otitis, and other. Uh, mostly, um, a realization of generalized form, it, it will, uh, there are meningitis, meningoencephalitis, or meningococcemia, meningococcal sepsis. Clinical picture, uh, very acute onset. Very fast <clears throat> rising of body temperature to 38-40 degrees Celsius. Expressed intoxication uh, and appear a meningeal signs. Appear meningeal signs. Previously, two three days before, uh, in anamnesis in patient uh, may be revealed signs of nasopharyngitis. nasopharyngitis. So what will be? Will be headache, repeated vomiting, uh, vomiting uh, not uh, bringing relief, uh, may change level of consciousness, uh, in severe cases will be generalization, generalized convulsions, disturbance. Uh, of uh, level of consciousness. Uh, meningeal syndrome appear, uh, uh, may, may appear in the first day of disease, not only after two, three days of nasopharyngitis, and may ha have different severity. Uh, one of typical complication, uh, one of typical co complication uh, is brain swelling, uh, if edema swelling of brain. Uh, in one, uh, two percent of cases uh, of patient may be revealed signs of encephalitis with paralysis, uh, para uh, paraparesis. And this, uh, disorders of coordination and other focal symptoms. Uh, will be suspension affection of cranial nerves, uh, maybe hallucination, uh, exaltation or SOPA. In one third of cases uh, will be combined form meaning coxemia plus uh, meaning, uh, signs of meningitis. Um, one of bright clinical signs of mening uh, meningococcemia is uh, hemorrhagic rash of the skin, 
with uh, particular uh, characteristics sometimes uh, are up to 5-15 cm in, di in diameter with necrosis in center. Uh, typical distal uh, location of uh, uh, this rash, distal part of extremities first of all uh, and very often meningococcemia, meningococcal sepsis associated with uh, serious and severe complications first of all infectious toxic shock, uh, DAC syndrome uh, syndrome of Waterhouse Frederiksen, uh, development of endocarditis or pericarditis, and other possible fatal complications. In CBC will be suspected leukocytosis, neutrophilia shift to the left. In cerebrospinal fluid will be findings what typical for type A of change of cerebrospinal fluid. I repeat, will be decreased level of sugar, a rich amount of neutrophils, more than 1000 cells in one milliliter, uh, and a significant rising of proteins. Significant rising of proteins. Uh, as fast method of uh, diagnostic of meningococcal meningitis may be microscopic examination of cerebrospinal fluid with coloration by gram uh, and in thick uh, and uh, in smear of in smear of cerebrospinal fluid may be revealed gram negative diplococci what placed intracellularly. In case of in case of meningococcemia, as fast method may be using of uh, thick uh, of my microscopic examination of thick drop of blood of thick drop of blood. Additionally, will be used bacteriological examination uh, of uh, swab from mucous membrane from nasopharynx. Uh, maybe no, obligatory will be used bacteriological examination of cerebrospinal fluid of blood, and it will play uh, the leading role in diagnosis of meningococcal infection, meningococcal infection. Uh, supportive uh, significance has serology, uh, has serology uh, due to what? Uh, very acute form of infection. Uh, if you think that in first, second day of disease, Title of antibody will uh, rise to diagnostic level, to diagnostic title, it is wrong thinking. In first day, title of antibody may be lower. And due to it, you uh, will need to repeat serology after uh, three days uh, or one week. Uh, for uh, so acute infection as meningococcal, it is not very good choice uh, to uh, wait so long time. Uh, so, uh, first of all, usual microscopic examination with coloration by gram uh, to make uh, films uh, from all, all possible places, it airways, blood, cerebrospinal fluid, uh, second step uh, to wait results of bacteriological examination. Primary result of bac bacteriological examination will be after 24 hours. Final result of bacteriological examination I usually will be after 72 hours. Uh, so it may be more effective and um, parallelly we feed you may check a uh, level of antibody to Neisseria meningitis in patient with possible meningococcal infection. Clinical manifestation of less severe 
nasopharyngitis, practically nothing interesting. Same with flu. Moderate headache, fatigue, dry cough, um, some pain in the throat, uh, and uh, mostly subfebrile. Uh, mild severity, practically nine, uh, mild degree of severity in these cases, 95%. Uh, to moderate degree of severity with uh, body temperature more than 38 degrees Celsius, uh, belong around 5% of patient. Uh, so very rare than uh, nasopharyngitis demonstrate aggressive uh, for aggressive characteristics for this stage. General duration around one week. But nasopharyngitis in case of this infection may precede the meningococcal sepsis in one third of cases. So nasopharyngitis it is not problem. Problem that it may generalize may generalize. Uh, meningococcal sepsis, meningococcemia, characterized with acute beginning, chill, fast rising of temperature to febrile level, expressed intoxication, appearance of hemorrhagic syndrome with hemorrhagic rash, uh, and anthema on mucous membranes, uh, on mucous membrane of conjunctiva, hemorrhage in, on sclera, uh, maybe uh, hemorrhage in joints uh, and uh, appearance of, of bleeding due to realization of DAC. So a typical uh, rash in case of meningococcemia you, you may suspect on this photo look on the uh, photo of, ch uh, of child uh, from the left. Uh, first of all, distal location of rash, look, trunk practically not involved, extremities maximal involvement. Uh, look on photo, uh, on, look for, for right photo, uh, black uh, ends of fingers, it is necrosis due to microthrombosis. Uh, so again distal uh, distal damage more serious than proximal uh, examples of typical hemorrhagic rash uh, on uh, these four photos uh, right uh, in uh, right up corner uh, rash with necrosis in center uh, hemorrhagic rash and in center black spot it is necrosis uh, a very good photo uh, in uh, uh, left upper corner uh, we uh, what demonstrate irregular form of fresh in case of meningococcal infection this kind of fresh is typical for meningococcemia this type of rash is typical for meningococcemia with a regular star-like form. Sometimes in some textbooks named as star-like form. Uh, example of hemorrhage on the finger, on extremities, the result of necrosis in center of rash. Uh, here massive uh, 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 here uh, on uh, on the uh, foot you may suspect beginning of rash uh, beginning of rash or rich necrosis uh, of rash uh, uh, at a lower photo and uh, outcome of this rash uh, photon uh, number four. You know, necrosis of fingers, ends of fingers, distal phalanx is 
ne uh, with necrotic changes. Uh, again, extremity extremity with hemorrhagic crash in case of meningococcemia. And again, distal location of rash. No, result of this rash. Other signs. Cardiovascular system. First of all, hypotonia, possible development of infectious or toxic shock, tachycardia and dullness of heart sounds. Respiratory system, dyspnea, cyanosis, sup, sup, uh, superficial breathing, dry rails. Uh, JAT may be constipation, will be increasing size of liver and spleen, usually not from the first day of disease, of course, but it is possible as compensatory reaction. In CBC, uh, in urogenital tract, Decreased diuresis, proteinuria, leukocyturia, uh, erythrocyturia as signs of toxic kidney. White blood cells, hyperleukocytosis, increased level of ESA. Um, and necessary to check level of electrolytes, possible decreased level of electrolytes in our blood due to total increasing of permeability. Uh, so, um, uh, differential diagnosis must be done with severe influenza, hemorrhagic vasculitis um, and different variants of sepsis. But differential diagno uh, diagnosis of different meningitis and meningococcal infection, it is task for the sixth course and I will not stop uh, attention on uh, this position. Meningitis. If before was description of meningococcemia, meningitis. Uh, first beginning of disease. Uh, high fever. Intensive headache, vomiting, central type of vomiting, signs of hyperesthesia, meningeal signs, damage of cranial nerves, or what kind of cranial nerves will be damaged, third, fourth pair, and seven, eighth pair. Mostly third, fourth pair will be involved in, pro uh, in process. Clinical picture of uh, <clears throat> of meningeal signs we described before, so here practically repeating. Uh, what will be suspected in cerebrospinal fluid, neutrophils more than 1000 and 1 microliter, increased level of proteins, dec decreased level of sugar. On this slide, you may suspect typical position of patient with meningitis, especially with meningococcal meningitis. So named trigger position. Trigger position. Here, uh, a child with meningitis. Position of child with meningitis. Here, position of child with meningitis. It may look as these two. Here, physician check of Kernick sign uh, and Brudzinski sign. Here, checking of rigidity of neck muscles. Here, positive uh, uh, lower Brudzinski sign. Position of, uh, of patient and uh, Elements of hemorrhagic rash on extremities, non-extremities. Uh, autopsy. Uh, this yellow what cover uh, what cover brain is pus. Uh, very uh, good photo. Now, uh, as result of autopsy, in case of purulent meningitis, here you may suspect pus. Uh, what? Uh, of what cover uh, manager.
soft membrane of uh, soft membrane of uh, brain uh, where it, uh, classical uh, cl uh, classical example of very severe meningitis uh, yellow with greenish it's again pass it's again pass Meningococcal meningitis more often appear due to diffuse damage of brain with disorders of consciousness and focal changes. Uh, what will be? Will be focal symptomatic such as oculomotor uh, disorders, uh, different variants of paresis, uh, psychosensual disorders and uh, aphasia. Uh, complications for all kind of meningococcal infections, especially generalized. Uh, first of all, acute renal insufficiency, uh, super infection, infectious toxic shock, um, activation of herpetic infection, uh, realization of secondary pneumonias, otitis, pyelonephritis. There are typical complications. And here on this slide you may suspect paresis of facial nerve in patient with meningococcal uh, meningoencephalitis or meningococcal meningitis. Uh, here uh, uh, result of CT scan, description of this CT scan you may a suspect on slide 2 change of uh, uh, ventricles change of ventricles in case of increasing of intracranial pressure and we return to laboratory diagnosis a laboratory diagnosis first of all fast methods there are Microscopic examination of smear from mucus of nasopharynx, cerebrospinal fluid, thick drop of blood. Uh, what we search? We want to search uh, uh, gram negative diplococci. Uh, what will place the intracellularly? Uh, biochemical and uh, morphological investigation of cerebrospinal fluid. Um, will be necessary for uh, revealing of these uh, bacteria and may be used uh, immunological uh, tests such as reaction of hemagglutination, reaction of indirect hemagglutination, diagnostic title of re a hemagglutination test is one per uh, uh, 160 reaction of indirect hemagglutination uh, 1 per 200 and may be using of ELISA uh, on this photo uh, process of taking of cerebrospinal fluid in patient this photo is tubid cerebrospinal fluid purulent purulent uh, cerebrospinal fluid Examination uh, of cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, when we take cerebrospinal fluid, necessary to take several tubes. Uh, tube number one uh, for calculation of cells, one milliliter. Tube number two, biochemical analysis of cerebrospinal fluid, uh, level of proteins, glucose, chloride. Tube number three, tu uh, two milliliters. For bacteriological research of it, tube number four, uh, after centri uh, centrifugation and sedimentation, for microscopic examination with coloration by Gram and, and Indian ink. Uh, tube number five, saved and used uh, additionally if uh, standard procedure and not give a result not uh, we not get result after uh, primary examination of uh, cerebrospinal fluid of patient uh, treatment uh, treatment 
of generalized form consists of <coughs> uh, <coughs> consists of, of etiological <coughs> therapy main role in etiological therapy of meningococcal infection belong to antibacterial therapy <coughs> Antibacterial therapy start immediately within period of uh, fever <coughs> plus three days of apyrexia for um, uh, meningococcal sepsis uh, or to moment of decreasing of cytosis less than 30 cells in case of in case of um, meningococcal meningitis. Uh, medicine of choice for meningococcal infection, usual penicillin, uh, reserve remedies, chloramphenicol, maybe use ampicillin, or uh, uh, more often in English-speaking countries using of cephalosporin or third generation, generation, especially in combination with fluorokinolones. Uh, Pathogenetic therapy, syndromal therapy include dehydration uh, because uh, in a lot of cases will be suspicion of brain edema. Uh, must be uh, detoxification using of glucocorticosteroids, treatment of, of hemorrhagic syndrome and symptomatic therapy. So, uh, more rare form of uh, uh, meningococcal infection than nasopharyngitis, meningitis, and meningococcemia, pneumococcal pneumonia, pneumococcal pneumonia, uh, so. Uh, what I made to say about pneumococcal pneumonia, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, long delivering, of course I am not about pneumococcal pneumonia, what will be associated with typical clinical uh, picture. I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, about meningococcal pneumonia here. Uh, will be focal or lobal, uh, lobal change, uh, uh, expressed intoxication, uh, and uh, moist rails and lungs. In X-ray will be shadows. What the risk of, for this local form? Uh, risk of generalization, transformation to meningococcemia with DIC and hemorrhage. Uh, other variant of uh, meningitis, what may be more often meted in clinical uh, in clinical uh, work, pneumococcal meningitis. First of all, uh, source of uh, source of infection: different patient with various form of pneumococcal infection, usually pneumococcal pneumonia. Route of transmission: airborne. Practically half of uh, meningitis in adult belong to pneumococcal etiology. Uh, minimally one third of cases are secondary and develop as complication of otitis, sinusitis or pneumonia. Uh, mostly this form realized in uh, old people. This form of disease realized in old people or in people with sugar diabetes due to secondary immunosuppression. Uh, due to secondary immunosuppression. What specific of pneumococcal meningitis? Quick involvement of brain substance in pathological process and accompanied with development of meningoencephalitis. Very fast appear mono and hemiparesis oculomato disorders and ataxia. From a uh, third, fourth day of disease can develop coma status with signs of brain stem dislocation. Pneumococcal meningitis, pneumococcal uh, encephal uh, meningoencephalitis 
uh, it is a malignant form of disease with very often lethal outcomes. Uh, due to what uh, I again repeat, this form of disease very often realized in people with immunosuppression, uh, with uh, previous um, long course of um, long course of chronic uh, diseases, what provoke uh, what provoke immune, secondary immunosuppression. Uh, cerebral spinal fluid in case of pneumococcal uh, meningitis uh, is typical purulent. Uh, what is interesting, very, very high level of protein and very, very high level of cells, thousand cells in one microliter. And of course, prevalent of neutrophils uh, uh, will be suspected in this clinical uh, for this clinical form too. Um, steps for diagnostic: same microscopic examination, bacteriological research, uh, and with revealing of uh, streptococcus, streptococcus pneumonia. Uh, serous meningitis, uh, numerous uh, diseases of uh, numerous uh, infectious diseases of central nervous system with uh, similar clinical manifestation and morphology, but will be serous inflammation. Serous and not purulent serous inflammation, inflammation mostly viral etiology uh, for this disease uh, for serous meningitis. Etiology may be very different. It may uh, there are acute lymphocytic horio meningitis, tick-borne encephalitis, uh, meningeal form of poliomyelitis. Uh, so a lot of uh, diseases may play as primary viral meningitis. More numerous. Uh, of secondary serious meningitis when meningitis uh, when disease start play as complication of primary disease uh, for example a lot of acute respiratory viral infection for example influenza may, may provoke serious meningitis chicken pox mumps rubella um, practically all herpetic infections uh, as herpes virus directly as cytomegaloviral or infectious mononucleosis may provoke secondary serous meningitis. Uh, less often serous meningitis occur with bacterial infections such as TB, brucellosis, leptospirosis, Lyme disease and <coughs> hirsiniosis. Mm. Pathogenesis uh, practically same uh, with uh, um, purulent, but type of inflammation will be other. Uh, again, will be hyperproduction of cerebrospinal fluid due to irritation of vascular plexus, but here will be direct irritation with viruses, not with the toxins. Clinical manifestation will be same, general science and meningeal syndrome. Uh, what is interesting here, meningeal syndrome less severe. Uh, meningeal science may be less severe, may be mild form of infection uh, with mild meningeal science or absence of, my, uh, absence of uh, meningeal science but may demonstrate uh, may demonstrate a clinical picture and same with uh, purulent meningitis uh, in cerebrospinal fluid a lymphocytic pleocytosis uh, protein level uh, slightly increased sugar level normal uh, sugar level is normal 
um, examples of <coughs> I'm sorry, examples of uh, serous meningitis and or viral meningitis, uh, tick, uh, one of form of uh, tick bone encephalitis, uh, Lyme disease may provoke uh, serous meningitis, but it, it is as examples that, uh, uh, of diseases what may be used for differential diagnosis in case of our today topic meningococcal infection meningococcal encephalitis uh, that's of what i wanna uh, demonstrate today in time of lecture thank you for your attention be careful and be healthy thanks